Archduke Franz Ferdinand's Phaeton. If you don't know who the Archduke Franz Ferdinand is, then you should probably play more World War I shooters. It was his assassination that started World War I, and his assassination took place in this car. It wasn't just that he was assassinated in the car, but that he avoided an assassination attempt earlier that day. He was on his way to the hospital to comfort the people who were harmed in the crossfire. On his way there, one of the assassins had stopped in a cafe to get something to eat, saw the Archduke passing by, and well, started World War I. Not only that, but the car was involved in 6 accidents and 13 deaths. Some people would die only months after owning the car. You might be familiar with the 1983 Stephen King novel Christine. Christine is the name of a haunted car which takes people's lives. But many claim that this was based of a real life car. That is, the Golden Eagle which is a 1964 Dodge limited edition. Many have dubbed it the most evil car in America. It was originally used as a police car in Maine, but three of the officers who drove the vehicle ended up taking their entire family's lives and then their own. That wouldn't be too creepy if it happened once, but it happened not twice, but three times. After its time as a police car, it was sold to the Allen family. The family said that when they drove the car on the highway, the doors would mysteriously swing open. Several kids also passed away around the car. Two kids were hit by other cars and flew across the street to land underneath the Dodge. Two kids were hit by other cars and then flew across the street and landed underneath the Golden Eagle. Another kid, who merely touched the car, ended up passing away. This was in a house fire which also took his entire family. When members of the local church heard about this vehicle, they vandalized it. But then several of them passed away shortly after. Some have nicknamed this the Devil Car and it's now abandoned in a woods in Maine. James Dean's Porsche 550 Spider. The beloved actor James Dean owned many cars, but his favorite was his Porsche 550 Spider. However, at the age of 24, he passed away in that car, and it's said he was even warned about the vehicle. Star Wars actor Alec Guinness said he had a bad feeling in his gut and warned Dean not to get in the car. He said if he did, he would be gone within a week. And exactly seven days later, James Dean passed away. This was after a road incident with the car. Later on, many people have found themselves in bad luck after coming into contact with this cursed vehicle. One mechanic who looked at its leg was broken, and two men who bought parts from the car ended up getting into wrecks, and one of them even passed away. The cursed car also survived a fire and also fell off a transport truck, and in doing so crushed the truck driver. But then in 1960 it mysteriously vanished. This definitely is one of the world's most cursed cars. throughout Russia and Eastern Europe, people were terrorized by the myth of the Black Volga. The Volga limo was the most expensive car in Russia at the time, and they were specifically designed to hide the identity of the person inside the car. They had tinted windows, and if that wasn't enough, you could do that whole movie trope when you see someone creeping in your window from a distance like <gasps> Because the car had such a secretive tone and was priced so high, rumors started speculating about who would be driving one. People would say it would be priests or politicians, other people said it was the devil himself. Conspiracy theories got so far that they say they saw kids get pulled into them, and if you touched one, you would die within 24 hours. None of these myths have ever been proven, so this might be a game of telephone that got out of hand. JFK's Limousine SS-100X One of the most defining moments in American history is the assassination of JFK. Some think that government organizations were involved in this happening. His limo had $200,000 worth of mods, but it was not bulletproof. And the car was also called a Lincoln, named after another assassinated president. Despite what happened inside the car, it was still used for 8 more years. The newly appointed President Lyndon Johnson used the car. 
However, he added bullet resistant glass and titanium armor plating. He also added a bulletproof roof and painted it black. To me, there's something really sinister about using the same car your predecessor passed away in. Dr. Kevorkian's Deathmobile. Okay, this car has a very sinister name, but it really does deserve it. This car was purchased for $30,000 by Zach Bagans. However, it used to be owned by Dr. Jack Kevorkian. Inside it, he helped end the lives of 130 people. He would administer poison to those who wanted to end their lives. Zach says he wants to use the van as a paranormal project. Many think that the van may be haunted. After all, over 100 people did lose their lives inside it. I can just imagine the haunted and creepy energy I would get if I was inside this van. You may not look twice if you saw this parked up on your street, but in reality, it has a terrifying backstory. Bus. It was a foggy night in London, 1934. A man driving normally when suddenly he swerved off as if he was trying to avoid something, hit, crashed into a wall, and was killed instantly. Witnesses say there was nothing in his way to make him swerve like that. But legend talks of a ghost bus that roams the roads. It'll appear out of nowhere, look like it's going to crash right into you. It's said to be a big red double-decker bus that'll appear around 1.15 in the morning. People who've seen it say the bus will be coming right after you, and after it passes, if you check your rear view mirror, there'll be nothing there. It could be a real ghost bus, or just another reason not to do drugs. Magnate. It's 2004 in Cape Town, South Africa, and you hear a roaring sound come from outside your window. You pop out to see what's going on, and you see a jumping car. Apparently, nine people saw a car start up on its own and start jumping backwards until it crashed into a fence. So they called the guys from Top Gear to have a look. No, they called the police. When the police arrived, they didn't believe anyone at all. They probably thought everybody was high. Then the car started up on its own again and started jumping backwards into a tree. Upon further inspection, it seemed the car had a rusty starter cable, which might have been the cause of the startup, but what was making it jump? and Clyde's Ford Deluxe. The original ride or die couple. Imagine meeting the one, I mean the one. Like they're so much into your stuff and you that the two of you team up and go around America during the Great Depression, robbing banks, killing cops, and looking on point while you do it. Bonnie and Clyde were two of America's most notorious criminals and somehow managed to keep a healthy relationship going while they were on the most wanted list. The two traveled around in a stolen 1934 Ford Deluxe and on May 23rd, 1934, it would be their final resting place. They were ambushed by cops and shot more than a hundred times in that bad boy. Now what happened to the car? Well in a way, nothing. The car was kept exactly as it was the way Bonnie and Clyde died in. Every last bullet hole. You can go see the car now at Whiskey Pete's Hotel and Casino in Nevada. The reason it's on our cursed car list is because people who take pictures in front of the car say that they can see figures floating in the background. The Maz Disaster. Now this curse isn't an ongoing horror that torments people for a hundred years like the Chicago Cubs goat curse, but it was a massive disaster, one of the worst car wrecks the world of racing has ever seen. In 1955, driver Lance Macklin was taking his turn out of the pits and back onto the tracks. He was driving an Austin Healey 100. I picture him rolling out on the racetrack in like a pair of motorized Healy's. Mike Hawthorne was coming in hot, driving a Jaguar D-Type and barely missed Macklin. Macklin swerved to try to steady himself and ended up in the left lane. He doesn't see Pierre LeVay flying in behind him at 150 miles per hour. Pierre hits the back of Macklin's sick Healy and goes flying into the crowd, killing 81 people and injuring 120. You don't have to worry about that happening today if you go out to car races.